Well, folks, we've got a special, a, a special guest today, so we're going to do it. One, two, three. Space! Shed 26 today. It's also shed 27. Right, good morning everybody. Thank you very much for being here and commenting on my latest videos. Always like a good comment. Thank you very much indeed, folks. So uh, today we have dropped Rosie off at the dentist down here at Discover Key. And I'm just thinking that the, um, the docks might be a good place to cast the magnet. I don't know whether you need permission or anything to do that because does that count as treasure hunting? I don't know, folks. You know, like you have to get permission to do the uh the detecting i'm not sure about that but i have to inquire but i, I thought the dogs could be a good a good whew, a bit murky and dark down there that's see that's the only thing with yesterday that the rivers were too shallow to really hold anything you know they would have just whicked all the way down and probably and the, at the lip of a of a, an ocean sort of exit if you know what i mean for the for the uh the rivers because i think the, the shallow it was the shallowness just makes things move and there weren't, weren't any sort of deep places for stuff to get caught um, so just thinking though, so we might go through that both later on as Rosie's wanting to go and get some earrings from retinas, the jewellers. So we'll have to have our masks on and go in disguise because we're not supposed to be outside Tayside folks. So this will be us going into Angus. But um, anyway, I didn't say that. Um, so as I was saying, yeah, now I've got, I managed to have, I've had a couple of problems, a couple of issues with uh, iMovie and Perfect Video at the moment folks my videos weren't downloading my photographs weren't downloading onto perfect video which is really annoying and i just i'm actually watching out for the parkies folks because i've dropped rosie off and being the tight fist that i am folks it's one pound 20 for an hour and I, i'm not i'm not oh is this them oh because they watch you from the cameras sorry. anyway what's the same oh yeah photographs um and they wouldn't download but i managed to go into some setting sort of thing today on the photos and tick um, all photos rather than selective photos. That's what I've done wrong, folks. I've got selective photos. So I'm happy now. They all download. And the only thing that's annoying me now, folks, is Apple ID. I can't get all my, my uh, sound packs downloaded for the uh, iTunes, not iTunes, sorry, for the uh, launch pad, the, the app I use to uh, download the music. And I do all this sort of, it's just pressing buttons and things, but you make some nice tracks on that. <coughs> but um, it was a bit annoying because I had like, maybe a good 20 or 30 sound packs. I think maybe about 40 sound packs that I bought on my old phone and the, on the old iPad. And uh, when I came onto the new iPad, that, there was only like maybe 30, 13, uh, oh, is this Mr. Parkey? Hello, Mr. Parkey. I'm moving on, honestly. Oh, no, it's not. Um, there's only about, uh, why did I say 13? God knows, I didn't count them. There's, but there's, there's not as many as there should have been. Um, and I'm, I'm missing a good, a good 30, at least I would say, folks. So it's really annoying because it cost me, you know, 99 pence, each one pound 99, but that's basically about 30, 40 quid, you know? So I'm not happy about that. Um, so I had to go into the Launchpad website and they said, oh, it's maybe because you used a different Apple ID address and device. And I thought, oh no, because of my new phone. And I just don't know what to do, folks. It's just technology. Why can't we just be back with abacuses and, um, you know, big handheld phones and things? I don't know, man. Here it is, folks, we have today for my bun of the day. It's a chocolate eclair and it's uh, from Goodfellow and Stevens. Look at that. Now, I don't know really go for sort of creamy cakes, but uh, this one just took my eye when I was in the shop. And I do like the, the shoe pastry and the, uh, the, the effect of the cream and the chocolate. The chocolate's really nice on that as well. So we're going to eat this, folks. Mmm. <laughs> Right, folks, well, that was absolutely awesome. And that is very close to getting a 10, I'm telling you. However, it's only going to get 9.5 out of 10. Unfortunately, um, it was, I think it was just because I was right in the mood of one. The chocolate was nice and thick on the top. The shoe paste was gorgeous. The cream was just very subtle going through there. Just a wonderful eating experience that was. There could be more of it. <clears throat> I feel like I want another one, but I know I'd just be sick if I did. Um, the thing about these chocolate eclairs is my grandfather used to love chocolate eclairs and he would get up early in the morning and uh, walk when he was living here, because he used to live in Aberdeen, but he'd come to stay with us um, when we had the house in Seafield Road when we were small. Um, hang on, I forgot what I'm talking about, hang on. Yes, so my grandfather would get up nice and early and he would uh, go down to the ferry and he would talk to all the ladies, he was the right ladies man, was he? And he'd go into the baker's down there and get about eight chocolate eclairs. They must have loved them down there. And he'd come back with a big box of chocolate eclairs and put them down <clears throat> and say, you can have one each, so we'd have one each, and that would leave four, and that would be for him. Or was it five, because Gillian was around there, she maybe didn't eat one. Anyway, so um, 
Yeah, you love this chocolate glaze, man. So, yes. <clears throat> Thank you, good fellow Sims. That was really nice. I really enjoyed that. So I said nine and a half out of ten. The half point is just because I felt guilty eating it. It was so good, man. Anyway. Now, folks, one thing we don't often talk about here on Jag Lives is sport. And today, I went to go and look at a bit of graffiti that's got sport in it, folks. So the question is, who was the world's greatest footballer who died just recently? So who was it, folks? I'll be there in a minute. As we're coming down there, you can smell it, the paint. I think there's some guy down there actually doing some work at the minute, man. Something serious. Hi, folks, there we go. Look, Maradona is the world's greatest football. Hey, he's done by the guy Psych. Yeah, that's fantastic. Quite busy in the evening, like a few dudes at work here. Right, so there's loads of guys at work today, there were four or five of them. This part here, this is all sort of just being covered over. So I think what they're gonna do, folks, is they're gonna cover this up with grey paint. It looks like they've done it down there. Just cover up the grey paint and work again. It'll make it into a better sort of uh, place for graffiti dudes to come along. Yeah. Well, look, there we go. Oh, sorry, psych. No, okay, there thank you. There we go. Nice, brilliant. Right, folks, so that was awesome down there. I got to speak to, to all the guys there, psych, and we all kind of know each other through Instagram and uh, YouTube and things, so they all, we had a big chat there. So that was brilliant, man. So th what they're doing there, they've got, to, um, they've got to, uh, to do it legally now, which is great. So they've painted over all the wall, and then they, they sort of do all their, their tags and things on it. And it just, just means now they've got a place to actually come and do it with, in peace without worrying about, you know, the police coming or anybody coming to get them caught or anything which is just absolutely fantastic because they can do it in peace now, they, they can do it and make a better job of these things and also uh, it saves the council money when you think about it, the council have to come down and paint the underpass so what's going to happen now is Sykes going to send a photograph off the underpass to the council and say look can we get some more of these sort of places to do like lots of the underpasses are way up the Kingsway man so you know keep your eye out folks and do support the cause because it's, it's just it brightens up Dundee as well man which is awesome so these guys are going around the, the place and they're, they're out you know you think they're all oh, lazy skateboarders or whatever they're not man they're out from eight in the morning till late at night probably eight o'clock at night doing all this sort of stuff you know and it's back breaking stuff some of the stuff on the roofs or whatever and the smell of the paint as well so it's not an easy sort of job to do a life to, lifestyle if you if you like but uh, no it's just awesome i think they're getting away getting away to do this now it's just brilliant so there we go so that was maradona anyway the best footballer in the world did you think it was going to be pele or maybe johan cruyff he did the, the good turn, the Johan Cruyff turn, Pelly or any of the, the Brazilians from these, the 70s uh, sort of Brazilian teams, the 74, well, the 70, 74 Brazilian teams are just absolutely awesome. Um, so any of their players, Jarzinho, Socrates, Zico, Pelly, of course, you know, all these sort of guys, just brilliant. And uh, so there we go, that was awesome. Did you see the Maradona thing? You know, I know Maradona is going to be remembered not very fondly by the British people because of his hand of God thing. Uh, you know, but uh, what can you say, man? It's just, I think, it's just a nice tribute to, to Maradona, to the best player in the world. I know all the Argentina, Argentina, Argentina went into uh, sort of a, a self-isolation for, for Maradona's death. It's three days of, of mourning his death, you know, which is great, isn't it? So I hope when I die, there'll be a you know, be a, a week of relaxation for everybody. Right, come on, class, what's going on here? Here we go. Right, right, folks, yeah, as I was saying, uh, somebody in a very generous mood today. I was uh, walking along the road there with my milkshake, my vanilla milkshake there, and the cat, a black cat was in the church sort of way, the pathway, and it looks a bit sorry for itself, so I gave it some of my milkshake and it just pulled a bit out. I was loving it. So I got a, a dab from the straw and gave it the straw, and, it and I licked the straw, and I thought, oh, no, I'm going to have to... Uh, give it the straw, so I left it the straw and poured out some more for it. I was loving it, but now I realise I've got no straw for my, my milkshake. And uh, the graffiti dudes, the um, the psych and his mates, they were uh, hungry and cold, so I went to McDonald's as I got my milkshake, and I got them uh, hamburgers each as well. So that was me feeding the the needy and the stuff. So hope you enjoyed your hamburgers, chaps. Right, we are doing what we're doing now. What we'd like to do when we go into Brighton Ferry is go and get some CDs. Yeah, go and get some D CDs, bruv and go and uh, see what we can find today. 
and CD shops. The charity shop CD Hunt. Right, folks, I've got my CDs. There they are. Charlatans. Uh, we've got Beck as well. Beck, Odelay and Moby. 18. This is where I fed the cat there. Oh, yes, he's, he's left it. Where's, it. where's it gone? I don't know where it's gone. Oh, goodness me. Right, so did you guess all the CDs I got there? 50 pence each. So there we go. The Charlatans. Uh, Wonderland. Now, there's loads of Charlatans CDs there. So I was going to get three of them, but I thought, well, you know what? Let's have a bit of variety. As much as I like the Charlatans. Wonderland, I've already heard this one ages ago, but we'll keep that one and play that again in the car. Odelay by Beck. I've not actually heard this. All I'm all I'm familiar with, Beck, is his, uh, oh, I'm a loser, baby. He said, why don't you hurt me or kill me? So that's the only sort of... Uh, reason I kind of got this because Beck he's, he's revered wherever he goes revered by the music press they all say he's a genius and things I've actually never really heard him now this one here I love Moby I think he's brilliant I know he rips off loads of sort of synth stuff but so what man his, his stuff is epic and fantastic I can't remember if I got this one or play one of the others I had I don't think I've got this one because there's one song on this one we are all made of stars the very first song which is absolutely awesome um the rest I'm not too sure if I've heard them or not but um the other one play, I've definitely got that. So we're gonna start off our listening, our charity shop listening, our charity shop listening, our charity shop CD listening compendium. We'll start right now. With Beck. No, with Moby, sorry. Right. Media, out comes the CD. Which is which one is that one? That one is who is this? No, that was um that German band. Dein Houghton Dein Townsend Houghton or whatever. Right, here we go. Moby. 